Hi everyone, I'm Mono and this is going to be another video talking about how medics are basically useless most of the time in Hell at Loose. I've already done one video on this topic and having rewatched that video, I don't think I made a good job of explaining why they are very often a waste of everyone's time. So I figured I would revisit the topic and explain myself a bit better. Also, I'll just drop some random footage in the background because I'm not about to spend hours playing medic just to have some relevant footage and you will see why in a bit. This is also after I made a video on loadouts where I did mention that I wouldn't recommend anyone play medic and I've been getting a lot of comments arguing that medics are actually good and that they can turn the tide of a game by keeping people alive and capturing an objective and so on. I obviously disagree with these assessments, so here's why. Let's start with the very basics. There's three ways in which you can die in Hell at Deuce. You can get shot in the body, headshotted, or blown up. The medic can only revive people who die from getting body shots. So right off the bat, the medic is only actually functional for a third of all possible causes of death. Now, obviously, those three types of death don't all happen with the same exact frequency, but it does mean that the better the enemy is, the more useless your medics become. The better the people are at shooting, the more headshots they land and therefore the less people that the medic can revive. If the other team is very active with the artillery or their tanks, then that's also a problem because again, more people getting blown up means less chances to revive anyone. So we're off to a pretty bad start. Unlike other games, medics can only revive a subset of people depending on the way they died, making them inherently ineffective by design. And it gets even worse because as a player, when I notice a squad is running a medic, it is extremely easy to bait the medic and shoot him or blow him up as he tries to revive someone. Basically, if you shoot someone and you see a smoke grenade land near his body a few seconds later, that's the medic trying to create some cover for the revives. So when I see that happen, I just wait for a bit and then drop a grenade on the dead guy if I'm close or just start shooting through the smoke because obviously smoke is concealment, not cover, and it won't actually protect anyone. Worst case is I destroy the body with a grenade so the player can no longer get revived, which means whatever amount of time he spent down waiting for the medic, he's just lost that amount of time. And the best case, or should I say what usually happens, is I kill both the medic and the player after they got revived, meaning I just tripled the amount of time those two players are doing nothing for their team. I actually like it when people I'm playing against are using the medic because it's easier for me to kill them. Assuming equal player skill, if there's six players per squad, the one squad that has a dude running around with a pistol instead of a semi-auto rifle, that's the squad that's going to lose. The loss of firepower from running a medic is very significant and the revivability doesn't really make up for it in any way. I'll say this again. I get happy when I see the squad I'm fighting against has a medic because it literally means I'm going to get more kills and they are going to waste their time waiting for that medic instead of redeploying somewhere else and maybe coming at me from a different angle. One argument that pops up a lot of the time is that people dying consumes manpower, so reviving people helps the resource economy. But the problem with this line of thought is that you generate 60 manpower per minute if you are at full nodes and 90 per minute once you use encouraged. Now, let's say every player on the team dies 20 times in a round. That's 1000 deaths. So 1000 manpower that could potentially be saved. But again, not all those deaths are gonna be revivable. So let's be real generous and say 800 deaths can be revived and are actually revived, which is preposterous, but let's just go with that. You generate 800 manpower in around 13 minutes when you have all your nodes set up. So for a game that lasts usually around an hour to an hour and a half per match, that's an insignificant amount of resources lost. And that's considering a really, really good scenario where 80% of the time that a player dies, he gets revived by a medic. In reality, that's gonna be closer to like 5% or maybe in a super good scenario, like 20%. So this argument about the manpower reduction, you know, that just doesn't hold any weight. 
Another argument is that having a medic nearby reduces the effects of suppression. However, that's not the full story. Any nearby squad members will reduce the suppression effect. Medics and officers will have a bigger effect than the other classes, but the reality is that the benefits of having a medic nearby to reduce your suppression effect are hardly noticeable if your squad is nearby already. I will link to a video from Das Altberg, which has some testing for this, but as far as I can tell, having more squad mates nearby will reduce the suppression effect way more than having a single medic nearby. So is there a reduction? Yes. Will having a medic nearby allow you to get drastically more kills while being suppressed than having other squad mates nearby? Definitely not. So as you see, the medic doesn't really provide any benefits, not in terms of suppression, not in terms of saving manpower, and it will be less useful the better the enemy team is. But what about the time you save by not having to spawn at the OP? Well, I actually had a few comments back and forth with someone arguing this, and it's one of those things where yes, if your team is bad at building garrisons, and your squad leader sucks and isn't placing good OPs that allow you to push effectively and redeploy nearby when you die, then yes, the medic can provide some help with keeping your squad up and running. But that's like saying, hey, if you don't have a bottle opener, having a knife can be really helpful. Well, yes, if your team is garbage and your squad leader sucks, then playing medic will be useful because players will have the choice of either waiting for you or spawning and running for five minutes. If that's the case, then by all means go play Medic, but your problems at that point aren't going to be solved by having a Medic. Proper OPs and garrisons should be the solution here, not playing Medic. In fact, running a Medic will just make the problem worse. Let's say your Medic is so good that you are able to push without needing to get a closer OP for a significant amount of time. What's going to happen is that if an enemy squad starts getting closer to your garrison or your OPs, then no one will notice because nobody is spawning back there and running back to where the squad actually is. You can't protect your spawn points if nobody is spawning on them. So if the medic works perfectly and you don't ever have to spawn back at a garrison and just keep getting revived, then that's actually worse for your team. The list of very helpful things that a player can do starts with playing commander or squad leader and at the very, very bottom of that list, that's where I think medic is. Playing artillery, driving a supply truck around alone as a squad leader and building garrisons, playing support and making sure anti-tank players have additional round of their bazookas, I think all of that is more useful. Now, I get it, I understand people enjoy playing medic and that's totally fine. For some, it's the immersion that the role provides. For others, it might be the fact that they just aren't very good at shooting and they want to be helpful in some other way. However, if that's the case, again, I think manning the artillery and dropping some smoke rounds for your advancing team is like a tenfold increase in help versus what you can accomplish by playing Medic. My advice is geared towards helping players implement the best possible strategies in the game. Playing Medic isn't one of them. In specific situations, like trying to capture the beach in Omaha, or when you're trying to defend an offensive and you have a large group of players in a very small area, then yes, the medic can actually be useful. However, for 90% of the time in most of the games that I end up playing, having a medic is just a waste of time and effort. Okay, hopefully this clears things up in terms of why I think the medic is so bad and why the game mechanics themselves discourage the use of medics. I've seen people say that then something should be tweaked to make the medic more useful, like maybe increasing the spawn timers or implementing a ticket system where if you die, your team loses a ticket and if you lose all your tickets, then you lose the game. That to me is like swapping the engine in your car for a smaller, less powerful one so you can increase the size of the passenger's glove box. It makes absolutely no sense to start messing around with the overall game mechanics and balance just so a single class can become a bit more useful. A simple solution would be to just give the medics a decent rifle or just delete the class entirely and allow all players to revive one or two other players like in Postscriptum. All right, that's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what you think down in the comment section, which I think is gonna be uh, quite fun and interesting for this video, so definitely check that out. 
And as always, thank you for watching and I hope I will catch you in the next one.